Hi, everyone. All right, so this little tidbit here is going to teach you how to sort your Google form so it kind of automatically sorts as soon as responses come in. Um, and because that can be really helpful, because for the most part, responses come in. So if we look at our sample here, they come in by the time they came in. So the newest response was right in the bottom. And of course, when you're done, you can sort it out and do whatever you like. However, sometimes it's really helpful to have it kind of automatically sorted, especially if you need to access that data when people are potentially still submitting their form. So an example that we kind of use this for is that um, like a health form. So if kids are filling this out on their drive to school or whatever it is, but you have people at the front checking, you kind of need it sorted by alphabetical, um, but there's still responses coming in. So any kind of situation like this where you might just want it to still um, be sorted automatically, so as opposed to having to resort it over and over and over again. So let me show you how to do it. It's actually really, really easy. Um, and so credit to this one goes to this website here, which is spreadsheet.dev, which is where I got the, the code for this. Now I know code sounds like really scary and fancy, but I promise you it's really not bad. So um, and I'll, I'll link this in the description because you're going to need to copy and paste something. That's all this is going to basically be is copy, paste, and just change a little bit. So if you look at our sample here, like I said, it's by time. So hypothetically, what if I want to just make sure that it's done alphabetically? So it just automatically sorts alphabetically by last name. So here's what you do. You go to this site that I linked over here, and you find this spot here, and you're going to copy this spot here. And again, I know it looks like scary, fancy, crazy coding, but just copy it. And then go over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your tools and you're going to hit your script editor. Again, if you've never gone there before, this might be the first time. All right, so it'll open a page like this, and this is your, your script editor. So all you're going to do is, like I said, copy and paste it in there. So just grab everything that was already there and just paste what you just had in there. Okay, so copy, paste over all the other stuff. Um, and then save it. And so here's what all you need to do now, is you just need to change potentially these two things. So what column do you want it sorted by? So we're choosing column C, which is column three. So all I would do here is just change this to number three. And then if it says false, that's like backwards alphabetically, or backwards by number, and true is the, um, we'll say the normal way, alphabetical order. So just type in the word true. If I can spell it. Oh. And that's it. So now if I hit run, what's going to happen is it's going to run this formula, and then this will be automatically sorted. You might get a little pop-up that asks you to review your permissions, but just go ahead and just, you know, review and log in and just, you know, say yes. And then you'll be good to go. And so now if I go back to my sheet, it is now sorted by last name, which is great. Now, we want it to be automatically sorted. So there's just one final step that you need to do. So when you go over here, what you're going to have to do is click on this little time here, which is triggers. Okay. And create a new trigger. And so what you want to do is it's going to run this whole thing you just did. And this little drop down here is on form submit. So now as soon as the form gets submitted, every single time it will run this thing for you. And just hit save. And same thing, you have to sign in and just kind of give it the approval. But that's it. You've just done it. So now, in a matter of minutes, your form will automatically sort itself. Cool, right? Now, I'm just going to show you one last thing, because what if for some reason you want it sorted by a couple things? You want it sorted by grade first and then alphabetical, which happens a lot when you're sorting sheets. So if that's the case, it's really easy. So if I go back now to where I'd like to go, my little area here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this where it says sheet sort by three and just add a new line and go like this. So now maybe I want it to be alphabetically, but really I want it to be also sorted by grade level. So then I would just simply go over here and change this one to be number four. And so now what it'll do is it'll sort it alphabetically. And then the last thing it'll do is it's sorted by grade level. So you really want that one to be your last one. And then I can save it, run it. And I go over here. And now it's sorted by grade level, and within the grade level, it's sorted alphabetically. And that'll happen automatically as the, the thing comes in. So that's it. Easy peasy, right? Um, so hopefully this is helpful and can save yourself the headache of resorting over and over again. And um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.